everyone. Welcome to Rupa's online tutorials. Today, we are going to take up another program from the lab manual for second, from the second PUC portions, that is program 5. So it says, write a program to search for a given element in an array using binary search in C++. So we have learned about binary search in the chapter data structures. Uh, a brief revision of the same I'm telling here. Binary search is a method which compares the elements to be searched with the middle element of the array. So whenever we talk about binary search, okay, we have to remember that. Uh, let me just briefly tell you what is binary search. So binary search here, search is nothing but finding whether that element is present in the array or not. That is called as, that process is called as searching. So there are two types of searching. One is linear search and another is binary search. In linear search, we are going to compare each and every element of the array and then we, we are going to find whether that element is present in the array or not. In binary search, what happens is we are going to divide the array into two equal parts and then we are going to search only that part of the array where that element may, may be or may not be found. So that is about binary search. So whenever we talk about binary search, we have to remember the lower bound that is the first starting element of the array, the upper bound, which can be the end of the array, the last element of the array. And then using these two index values, we are going to find the middle element of the array. So once we find the middle element of the array, we are dividing the array into two equal parts. So there are three cases in binary search. One is if the element, okay, if the search element, here ELE denotes the search element, Okay, if the search element is equal to the middle element, then we say that the search is successful. If the search element is less than the middle element, then searching is continued at the left half of the segment. And then the end of the array or the upper bound has to be m minus 1. And if the search element is greater than the a of m, okay, that is the middle element, then searching is continued at the right half of the segment, that is b is equal to m plus 1. So this detailed explanation of binary search, I will be doing in another video, but I can just tell you briefly here. So here we have the beginning of the element, which I denote by b, and this is the end of the element. So according to this statement, this is going to be the middle element when I divide the array into two parts. So here, if a of m is equal to ELE, then the search is successful. But if the element is less than the middle element, that means if I'm going to search for some element here, okay? So if the element that I'm going to search here is, let us say, 10, okay? This element I'm going to search, and this is on the left side of the array, okay? This element is on the left side of the array. Then the end element need not be here. I don't need to search this part of the array. So what I will do, I will move the end element to here. So when I move this here, what happens? E will be equal to E equal to M minus 1. Okay. And if my search element is greater than the middle element. So here I'm having the beginning element. Here I'm having the middle element. And this is the end element. Now let me say I am searching for an element here at this part of the array. Then what happens? Here I, if this is the search element, then I know that the element is greater than the middle element because it's a sorted array. This element will be greater than the middle element. What happens? I don't have to search for this part of the array. Then the beginning of the array has to move to this side. That's why we are writing B is equal to M plus 1. Okay. So this is the basic logic of this program, which we will be seeing now. So if you see here, I briefly told the algorithm also. The algorithm says A is a sorted array, LB is the lower bound, UB is the upper bound, and B is the beginning location of the array, E is the end location of the array, M is the middle location of the array. So here, the first index value of the array is set to 0. Okay, so set B is equal to 0, E equal to N minus 1, and location equal to minus 1. And while B less than equal to E, we are finding the middle element, how we are doing b plus e by 2. And if the element is equal to the middle element, then we have found the location. We are going to step 3. If the element is less than the middle element, 
just now I told you, it is going towards the uh, left of the array. So end is equal to m minus 1. And if the element is greater than the middle element, then we are moving the lower bound towards the middle element. So it is m plus 1. And if the location is found as greater than or equal to 0, we are printing the location. Else we say print search is unsuccessful. So if we quickly look at this program here, we have the program here. So here I have declared an array. Here I have declared an array, okay, m of 100, hash include m of 100. And then n to get the size of the array, ELE is the search element and LOC is going to tell me the location of that array, in which position that array is present. And I am having a class, I am naming it as class binary search, okay. So in private, I have declared the variables for this program and in public, I have declared the functions. I have in detail explained how to do this in my previous program in program one. So here we are having three functions. One is get data, another is search one, which is going to do the binary search. And the third function is display. So get data, what it is going to do, it is going to accept the elements in the array. So here we are saying see out how many elements and then we are accepting the elements. So for example, if I'm going to take five elements in the array, now my value of n will be equal to 5. And then I'm asking the user to enter the array elements. So here I have used the for loop. This explanation I have given in my previous program. So you can look at it how the for loop works. And then I am asking the accepting the value of the array. So let me say like since I have accepted 5 elements and I told you binary search has to be done through sorted array. Let me accept these elements like this. Okay. So my array m it is going to consider all these elements in the sorted array 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, the third, this line says enter the search element. So, search element, for example, if I'm going to search for 40 here, okay, so this is my search element. This element is going to be searched whether this element is present in the array or not. Now, it is going to the second function here. Now, the actual binary search this particular thing starts for us. So if you see this program here, I have given void binary search, that is the name of the class, equal to equal to search1. One. Search1 one is the name of the function. So here I have declared b because I want the uh, okay, here I have declared B, okay, which is the beginning of the array. Okay, here I have declared. Okay, now let us look at the binary search function. Okay, the binary search is the uh, binary search is the name of the class. Okay, and search one is the name of the function which we have declared in that class. And here I am declaring two variables B. Okay. So I told you that we have accepted the array m like this. So we had m of 5. And then I told you here, these were the values that we took, isn't it? 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So these were the values that we took in this particular array. So here I say b. b is what? I am assigning b equal to 0. So 0 is what? The first element in the array, OK? And then I am saying E is equal to N minus 1. What is my N here? My N here is 5. So N minus 1 is uh, 4 here. So here I am saying B is equal to 0. That is pointing to this element 10. And here E is pointing to N minus 1, which is 5 minus 1, 4, which is pointing to this element 50. Are you understanding? Now, I am going to traverse this array completely because I want to know whether my search element is found or not. So what is my search element? I told you my search element is 40, isn't it? So I told you my search element is 40. So I need to check whether this is found in this array or not. So for this, first I have to find the middle element. How do I find the middle element? I say MID, okay? I call the middle element as MID, which is equal to B plus E by 2. My b is here 0, so 0 plus 4 by 2. So 0 plus 4 by 2 will give me how much? 2. That means 
my middle element here okay is 30 so this is my middle element here okay now according to my logic if the element is equal to the middle element is 40 equal to 30 no then i will not be able to do anything else if element is less than the middle element is 40 less than 30 definitely no it's a sorted array we know that 40 is greater than 30 then otherwise what you have to do if it is not going to be equal or less than obviously it means it is greater than that number so b is equal to mid plus one so b is no longer zero it moves to this place now our b will become equal to two are you getting so the first cycle the first while loop is over in the second while loop what happens now we again we are going to find the middle element because we are still in the while loop so here b will be what b will be 2 e will remain same that is 2 plus 4 2 okay 4 plus 2 is how much 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 so now our middle element is no longer uh, 2 but it has become 3 so why now i am going to see only this part of the array so in this part of the array what is the middle element i have found it is 3 so here 40 has become the middle element so it is now going on top of this while loop it's still inside the while loop so now the middle element has become in the second iteration 3 now we are checking whether the element is equal to m of mid so here you have to be very careful while writing you cannot write simply mid why mid is 3 so if i am going to write element is equal to 40 is equal to 3 i will get an error so i have to write it as element is equal to m of mid so what is that element that I am searching? 40. Is it equal to equal to m of mid? What is m of mid? m of 3. So what is m of 3 for me? 40. So both are equal. Then we have found that this element is present. And we come out of this loop. So you can just dry run this program and try it for the other side of the array. You can search for 20 whether it is found or not. Or you can search for any other number 100 also. And then you will see that it is not found on both sides. So this is called as dry run of a program. See, when you write a program in your, anywhere you write the program, you need to put the values like this. Okay, and check whether the program is working or not. Then it, your programs don't go wrong generally. Okay, so this is about the explanation of the program. And after we have done the, after we have done the um, uh, process, we have to display the result. So the display of the result happens where the position is shown, the location is shown. So here from the index value, it will be counted. Okay. And in the main function, I am going to say binary search. I'm creating an object for uh, of the class binary search, and then I'm calling it. So it is object name dot function name. So b dot get data, b dot search one, b dot display. Now I'll show you the same code has been i'll show you the output on code blocks because i've not done it on turbo c plus plus so you can just see that okay earlier a few things have been changed i have just used using namespace std i'll just show you how we are doing that so here i've typed the program in code blocks okay so uh, here i have not included the conivo.h if you are using turbo c plus plus editor you use the conivo.h and then you can use the methods uh, functions clear screen and uh, get ch the logic is same so let us look uh, quickly look at the program we have already looked but here i'll just show you here the elements are declared in the private section the functions are there in the public section and we have the get data display and the search one function and in the main i am created the object and called these functions now we will quickly run this program and see okay so you can see the output now so it is asking how many elements so i'm entering five elements and i'm entering the elements in the array so here 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay now it's asking for the search element i'm going to enter 40 you can see that the position is equal to 3 so here, why is it 3? It's become uh, 3 because it starts from 10 as the index value 0, 20 index value is 1, 30 is 2, and 40, uh, uh, 40 is 3. So it is showing the position as 3. Now, let us run this program. Okay, Let me uh, execute this program again. And here, now when we execute this program, let us see 
an element which is not present in this array. Okay, so let me say the same other thing I'm just entering. Now let me say the search element as 100. Now it says search is unsuccessful. Now there is one more case which can say, I've been saying that binary search has to be done on a sorted array. Now let us do one thing. We will um, run this program again and we will put an unsorted array and see. Unsorted array means it need not be in ascending or descending order. It can be in any order. Okay, so here I'm going to ask for the search element. Now again, search is saying unsuccessful. Though four is present there, it is not able to search. So you have to remember that binary search is possible. It works best with the sorted arrays only. Okay, so hope you like this video. If you like, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Any comments on any questions regarding this topic or any suggestions to be given? please put it in the comment section below. Once again, thank you for watching and all the best for your upcoming exams. Thank you.